Hi everybody, hope you're doing great. Today I'll be reviewing the Chill Freezable Vaporizer by Randy's. Randy started in 1975 in San Francisco with their innovative wired rolling papers. Since then, they've expanded their wired paper line, added accessories, and continue to develop vaporizers with new technology. Featured in High Times Magazine, the Chill is the world's only freezable tube vaporizer. The kit comes in a sturdy cardboard box with clear instructions on the outside. Inside the kit, the contents include an instruction manual, a USB charging cable, spare parts, a chill freezable tube, a pre-installed aqua bubbler, a dry herb coil, a concentrate coil, a metal tool, and the chill freezable vaporizer. Randy's Chill is a 1500 mAh dry herb and concentrate vaporizer with a 0.5M coil resistance. It can be charged in 4 or 5 hours via the mini USB port located near the top. It has a see-through window on the side and a slide-out magnetic coil chamber. The bottom has a hidden compartment that holds the metal tool and a spare coil. To get started, fill the dry herb or concentrates coil. You can use the metal tool to load the concentrates or choose one of its many functions, perhaps a leprechaun locator device. Slide the coil into the coil chamber. Snap the coil back into the chill body. Choose your glass tube. The aqua bubbler can be filled with a little bit of water for a filtered hit. The freezable tube is filled with a non-toxic solution and it will stay cold for a single short session. It will also work as a normal glass mouthpiece without freezing. There's a larger 5.5 inch freezable tube available separately called the icicle. It will stay colder longer than the standard tube, and it's always great to have a spare on hand. Insert your preferred mouthpiece. Five clicks of the power button turns it on or off. Three clicks switches between settings. Depending on the coil used, the temperature ranges are red for low at 212 degrees to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, green for medium at 400 degrees to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and white for high at 600 degrees to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you choose your desired setting, you're ready to vape. Just hold the power button while you inhale. The longer you hold, the hotter the coil gets, roughly 12 seconds. The chill will auto shut off after one minute of inactivity. The chill is an innovative vaporizer. The options for dry herb or concentrate and the two glass mouthpieces makes for a great device. I found the heat settings to be pretty interesting. I haven't tried the concentrate coil yet, but for the dry herb coil, the lowest setting on red provided a nice and light vaporized hit, while the highest level on white gets hot enough to easily combust the herbs. My favorite setting is medium on green. For me, it's a cross between combusting and vaporizing, a smooth but predominant hit. The coil chamber is easy to change out, although it will get a little hot after several quick sessions. One of my favorite features is the hit it and quit it style operation. Vaporizers that bake for three to five minutes makes me feel pressure to hurry before it's gone. Heating while pressing the power button lets me take the time that I want for each session. Overall, a great vaporizer that so far I really enjoy using. The chill vaporizer currently runs in the $150 range and it comes in the colors of black, silver, and blue. If you'd like to pick up the kit for yourself, just click on the info link in the description box below this video. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and connect with me on my social sites. Have an excellent day and may the fate be with you.